movie chats. Never fails to amuse me that intro. Um, you should have seen uh, my acting abilities to get that right. Maybe I'll share the uh, outtakes with you one day. Welcome to Movie Chats. Um, my name's Chris, and normally I'm a reseller, and normally content on this channel is reselling or videos of the dog, Cookie, um, because this channel is Cookie and the Haydens. So welcome, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us again for week two of Movie Chats. Um, I'm not sure, let's see who's in. I know we're hopefully gonna have, fingers crossed, we're gonna have a couple of guests on tonight. Um, let's see who's in. We've got Tori in, of course. Tori, one of the most loyal fans ever of this channel. So thank you, Tori, for joining us. Um, Tori's been watching, well, attempting to watch films today. Uh, only stuck with one. It was hours long at Middleton with Andy Garcia. I've never heard of it. Never heard of that, Tory. Let us know. Oh, not all that. I was going to say let us know if it's any good. Um, but obviously not. Is that going to be a couple of hours that you're never going to get back? There's so many films like that, but you never know until you try, right? Um Oliver Ian, hi, every, uh, evening everyone, just on the way home. Yeah, Oliver Ian is going to be joining us um, very soon. Uh, don't rush back, drive safe, mate. Uh, Rach R's here, hi, Rach R. Uh, Gunzo G, hello, evening everyone. Uh, Lana is in, hi, film club, yes. <laughs> something like that, Lana, something like that. Where's your hubby? Where's your hubby? Is he joining us in a bit? Um, Goat Jazz is here. Uh, hi, Goat. Tori goes, Hi, Goat. Um, so to, the, today we're going to talk a bit about um, cinemas closing, of course, Cine World closing up. Um, some of our guests and you guys, if you wanted to join in, had some homework from last week to watch a couple of classic films. And we'll talk about those in a bit. Also, I've got a film that I've not watched yet right here. A very unusual film, never seen it before. And I'm going to challenge anyone who wants to watch it, including the guests, before next time, before next week, probably. Um, I think we've got Steve in the, uh, in the green room. So Steve Jackson, we'll let him in in a second. Let me just make sure there's no more chit chat going on. Okay, let's see if we can get Steve in. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, hi Steve. Hello, you okay? Yeah, are you? Yeah, you can hear me all right. Yeah, all sounds good. Let me just turn me volume down a bit so I don't get too much echo. There's an anti echo thing now on here. Have you seen it? Huh? Yeah. On the settings when you log into StreamYard, it's got an anti-echo button. Oh, I don't know right. if that okay. makes That's much difference. That's good to know. Hi. Um, let's just see who else is in uh, Film Club, your Lana would say. <laughs> She's been um, saying I've been swatting up all week over the amount of movies I've been watching. I'll tell you what, you've bloody watched some films this week, haven't you? <laughs> you done any work at all? Uh, I said last week, isn't it? It's the disadvantage of having this thing behind me because right? my laptop's here and then I've got my TV and my Xbox here. So I've been catching up on yeah. a lot of the Netflix and the Disney stuff. Fair enough. Uh, Gunzo G, do you suggest anything good on Netflix? I feel like I've watched everything. Now, it's funny you say that, Gunzo G, because I've got a note here. Because next week, I think we should do a Netflix show. So we'll just talk about everything that's on Netflix. Um, so we may touch on it later on today. Um, are you thinking films, Gun Guns OG, or series? Um, we're watching a series at the moment. 
It's like a it's like a serial killer thing. I've forgotten the name of it. The Fall. Fall, yeah. Have Billion you seen it? Anderson. Yes. We're, half, we're, we're halfway through it. Um, right. it it's all right. It's uh, based in Belfast, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. It's not always my thing, these sort of serial killer things, but, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. It's all right. One one I've been watching on Netflix is uh, The 3%. Um, it's about – it's one of these foreign things. I think it's Mexican but dubbed English. Um, but it's about this island where you you got to go past tests to go and live on it and – there's like a terrorist cell trying to infiltrate it and stuff. I'm I'm just starting the second season now, so it's 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 quite good. But if you get past the, the dodgy acting and the dodgy uh, that they lip over, then you're all right. You can get through it. Yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. There's a lot of good stuff on Netflix at the moment. Have you watched the uh, Jurassic Park cartoon? The creation. Um, I I watched, I started watching episode one last week and then I got interrupted for some reason. I didn't go back to it. I'm going to watch it though. I'm going to watch it's, it just because I'm, I'm a fan anyway. That's actually quite good because it's alongside the first Jurassic World film. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. It's, it's a different, it's the different aspect of what's happening during that. Yeah. And I know it's a kid's thing, but I mean, I watch, I watch uh, animated films anyway. So what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm going to watch that though. Uh, let's see what else we've got in it. Legion, Gunzo G, if you watch The Boys. Somebody else suggested watching that that's to me. On, that's on Amazon though, isn't it? The Boys, it's not on Netflix. Not crime. Uh, oh, so he's liking the green screen. Yeah, do you like today's green screen? It's a bit of an arty mm -hmm. version of Jurassic Park. T Rex chasing that car up. I was searching for ages for a decent one. Is that your, oh, is that your, oh, you've got a different mug today. I've got my grumpy mug today. Oh, is that, is it reflective of what your mood is? It's just reflective of the type of day I've had in work here. <laughs> or, you, or the type of day you've had watching films. I haven't watched any today. That's probably why I'm grumpy. <laughs> um, let's have a look. I want to, what's that? Uh Naif, Jim, I want to get into football. What are the main topics of discussion? Uh, you might have dropped into the wrong stream here. <laughs> it's not really a football stream. It's uh, all about films. So, yes. You're very welcome to stay if you're good. Uh here we go, Guns OG. Both I rec I recommend American Murder about Chris Watts. That's good, but had no luck finding good things from them. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of good serial killer like series on Netflix. We we've gone through uh, quite a lot of them. Do you know, like that Piers Morgan does a lot of interviews with them and, and stuff oh like yeah, that. so. Um, and it's also like the American takes on it as well. What was that Mind Hunter that was on Netflix, wasn't it? That was the the one about the FBI in the seventies where they start doing the criminal profiling. And there's a lot of them that follow that sort of suit. Yeah, so, there's quite a few like that, isn't there? Yeah, I think they're all under documentaries, although they're not really yeah. documentaries, are they? So, did you ever watch? Um, we we're in the middle of watching it. Uh, is it Hannibal Lecter? Lecter. Hannibal oh, is that, is, that, is that the series about it? Yeah. Is it? yeah, yeah. It's like a prequel, like how he came about. Mm. That's all right. It's quite, it's quite long and sort of drawn out. It's really slow, sort of build up into how we sort of became, you know, what you know him as in the films. Yeah. But yeah, that's worth watching. Um, Tori says, could be worth <laughs> see if you've been. You could have written a 30-page report. I accidentally saved it. Oh. There must be a way around that. I think, I think with the new version of Acrobat Reader, can't you change it back into a Word document? It depends on your version that you've got. And I think I think if you search on online, I'm sure you can you can get a converter mm. that will put it back into a Word document, albeit you might have to fanny about with it a bit. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh well. Unlucky. Uh, Mark Stevenson. Yeah, Red, Red Dragon was the movie version of it, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, I I wasn't I wasn't that keen on Red Dragon. Uh, but yeah, I think I think next week I was thinking about doing um, like a Netflix week, and we'll just troll through everything that we recommend on Netflix. That has just give me a chance to catch up on a lot of stuff because the new season of um, Star Trek Discovery starts next week. All oh, right, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Oliver Ian's coming in at about seven. Damien might be on at some point as well, um, albeit, I don't know, maybe 50-50, whether he will or not. Uh, it, it clashes with his... Um, tea time. Tea time. You can just imagine his... Uh, you can just imagine his hobby ringing the dinner bell and he comes running down the stairs out of his office, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's ready. <laughs> Um, Legion says, Did you ever watch I Bought a Vampire Motorcycle? I've never heard of that. You ever heard of it? No, I uh, saw so, uh, on that on that uh vampire theme. Lana was saying that uh, if you about your, your cheap and nasty B movies, it's a film called Teeth. Seen it, yeah. Have you seen it? Well, she showed me the trailer. I've never heard of it before. They said, Oh, that one, we might have to recommend that one to Chris. Oh no, I've seen it. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. It's it's different. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, for anyone uh, in the chat, just um, go and have a look at uh, Internet Movie Database and look up Teeth, and look at the um, description or the uh, trailer for it. Mm. Um, I'm just going to look up that on on here just to have a quick scan at it. I bought a vampire motorcycle. I bought. A oh here we go 1990. Oh, it's got Neil Morrissey in it. Later, right here's what it says: When a motorbike gang kills an occultist, the evil spirit he was summoning inhabits a damaged bike. The bike is then brought, bought, and restored, but reveals its true nature when it tries to exact revenge, uh, vengeance on the gang and anyone else who gets in its way. So it's like a possessed motorcycle. Okay, sounds interesting. Neil Morris in it. No, it might be worth a watch then. Might be worth a look up. Works computer, special program needs. Uh, IT will help you out, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, oh, did you? I don't remember seeing it, Legion. Recommended it. On. Loads of people were recommending films because you know, when I was doing like walkabouts mm-hmm. and I was, I was like picking up films and stuff and telling people to watch films, people were giving me recommendations, so that was quite good. I guess that's really why we're, we're here now, I think, because it, you know, it kind of went from there. People kept talking to me about films. Mm-hmm. Uh, did, did you guys like the Mad Max films? I loved Beyond Thunderdome, but I'm biased and I, as I'm a Tina fan. Well, we were talking about this last week, weren't we? The right. uh, the Mad Max films that um, one was all right. Two's gone down as probably being the better one out of the three, but I, I prefer the third one. Uh, I was never a big fan of them, to be honest. I, I don't I really... see. I haven't seen the new one, Fury Road, or what no, it's called. I've not seen it either. But I, I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just, mm. just I was just like, mm, take it or leave it. Sorry, Chris. I know if you're a big fan. Mm. Uh, Guns OG favorite film ever made has to be The Mask. <laughs> wow! <laughs> favorite think- film ever is The Mask. I think that's just set the tone of our audience there. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's okay, Guns, but come on, favourite film ever. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's any... Uh, it's, I mean, everyone's taste, isn't it? Everyone loves different kinds of films, so you got to respect that. Um, but um, no, I kind of... 
Yeah, I can take it or leave it again. That's one of those films, Jim, like we were saying last week with Jim Carrey. He kind of, that stupid Jim Carrey, isn't it? Well, I think he's only ever done about three or four films where he hasn't played that stupid Jim Carrey. Well, they're, they're the ones I like, though. They're the mm. ones I like. I don't really like Ace Ventura style. don't really like that. Um, the movie's so bad, it's good. Yes, I do like those kind of films. Uh, Tori said, Chris, I liked the MM films. Mad Max, that would be, won't it? Oh, sorry, yeah. Didn't even put that two and two together there. Um, what's that? Legion. What's that? It says Wraith. Wraith? Wrath? Wraith? Is a very good movie. Also, Charlie Sheen. Not one I've never heard of. No, I've not heard of that one. Mm -hmm. I shall make a note. I like it when people give me something that I've never heard of. Yeah, well, right. now, now's the, the, the time to ask the chat to come up with some films for us to watch as in homework because last week we got CHX didn't we from Dave oh yeah which, which we'll, we'll talk about that after Steve, Steve. Yeah. let's wait let's wait for wait, wait for was Steve it Dave who recommended that uh, I think it was Dave Repairs wasn't it that recommended CHX right. all I'm going to say for that is I ain't never letting him recommend anything again <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if he's watching um yeah, so, I mean, I'll, I'll make a note, like, what's that motorcycle one called? Uh, I bought a vampire motor motorcycle, wasn't it? I bought, a, I mean, we can't have too many, but a vampire motorcycle. Yeah, I think three a week will be enough. Yeah, I mean, you, you might get through 10 or 20, but I can't, <laughs> I can't get through that many. I do actually work, you know. I don't it's believe you. To be fair, I mean, when I'm sat in here doing my listing and stuff, um, I tend to have something on my screen. Um, if I'm not watching YouTube videos, uh, I tend to either put a film on or I watch some series. Like I've been getting, I've been re-watching all of Quantum Leap again. See, I could, I could watch that again, Quantum Leap. Uh, I oh, almost okay. bought, I almost bought the uh, the complete DVD set the other week when we were in HMV. Yeah, I've got the complete set on DVD, um, but sometimes I just stream them on here. Um, mm. So when I'm in the office, I've not got a DVD player in it. But yeah, I've been watching that, and I'm right up to... The, the good thing about Quantum Leap is you can just dip in and out to any episode. You don't. There's no real... Other than Series 5, there's no real order to it, so it doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter which episode you watch they're kind of stories in their own right but it's, series it's five just that, it's just that 30 seconds at the end of each episode isn't it where he jumps into the next body yeah. and just says oh boy and that's the only thing that hooks every it up. time yeah i yeah. love it but yeah series five kind of has an ongoing theme going on to it with the evil leapers and you know kind of finishing the series so that's kind of worth watching in order series five but um, yeah, I think I'm up to like the. I'm, I think I'm actually up to the very last episode again. Which mm. every time I watch it, I never quite understand it. Uh, the series I've just started watching back uh, was the Lost in Space. Do you know the new Lost in Space? Oh yeah, because uh, season three's out in January. It says. So I thought I'll get the first two seasons watched again, ready for that. Um, like I say, the uh, Karate Kid, the Cobra Kai, that's out in January as well, isn't it? Season three. I can't which wait. Season four, which is season four, has just been announced as well, hasn't it? I know, yeah. Um, see, there we go. We could do a whole show on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do a whole show next week on Netflix. Let's see what else we've got here. Best film ever made has to be Breakfast Club. Someone mentioned that last week, didn't they? Hmm. I don't know who it was, but someone liked it. Uh, Tori says, Guns, you need to watch this channel for some recommendations. Yeah, come back. Come back next week. Um, War Films. Bin Boot Sale Picking. That's a new name. Uh, War Films, Apocalypse Now, awesome. I think we kind of had this last week where we were talking about War Films. Yeah, one of my, my favourite War Films 
was um, we were soldiers with Mel Gibson. Mm. The first air cav going into Vietnam. That's uh, good. That, that's a superb film. But everybody loves Saving Private Ryan, don't they? Mm. I, think um, that opening, I think that opening sequence, that opening yeah. 10 minutes just gripped you there. It's just amazing, isn't it? Mm. The, how they filmed that was just amazing. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry, Oliver Ian, he must be home. Uh, yeah. Lee Jun, good. Good fun movies if you can if you can find them is snapped and snapped again. Is that a vampire? That's vampire, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Mm. I'm sure, it's a vampire film. Might be wrong. Uh, Bad Boys, the well, not the not the Will Smith one, the old one. Uh, Mr. Diggs is in. I, I'm high all at work. Oh, Adrian, be careful if you're at work. <laughs> um, I would chip in a film I uh, watched a few days ago, Humanoids of the Deep. All right. A cross between the creature from the Black Lagoon and Swamp, swamp Thing, but I think you mean Swamp Thing. Swamp, yeah. Humanoids of the Deep. That sounds like that's one of your ones, that Chris. It is, isn't it? I like films like that. Yeah. Why does it sound like one of mine? Because if it's anything like the other ones you've recommended so far, that that's right up there. <laughs> I love Lost in Space, like Star Trek uh, Discovery. Original Gone in 60 Seconds. Eh, it's okay. Hi, Mr. Diggs. Old school. Oh, Feeder Zane Pet, Tori says. Old school series. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, Alf Garnet and uh, what do you call it? What was the series with Alf Garnet in it? Seriously racist. It would never be aired now, I don't think. Some. No. Oh. Can't remember. Someone will tell me. Uh, watch Bailey. Hi Bailey. What's your favourite pre? Bloody hell! Pre two thousand and five Nicolas Cage film. So you're talking Oof. quite early. Early uh, Cage. Um, Con Air can't be far off that. Could it? Two thousand and five. Con Air's got to be before that, hasn't it? And Face Off. S stuff like Snake Eyes and all that lot. Is that all pre-2005? Probably. Let me get a uh, thingy up here. Uh, I, mm. um, it's useful for me, actually. To, actually I, I meant to open this up before so that I could look things up. Um, I'm thinking he did, uh, that, he did that one about war, wasn't it? Was it? God of, not God of War. What was the one where we supplying the, the weapons? Yeah, uh, God of War, wasn't it? Was it God of War? Then Snake Eyes, uh, The Wicker Man. The Wicker Man was round about then, wasn't it? The remake of The, the Wicker Man. Um, Don't ever remember watching that, to be honest. It wasn't worth watching, to be honest. Was it not? Oh, he was in The Rock as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. The Rock's, the Rock's probably 95-ish, 96. Filmography. Oh, here, it's in order here. I've got his filmography in order. Bloody hell, he's done loads. Mind you, they're all a lot of his recent ones are shit, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so if you're talking pre... I'll just pick out the... I'll just pick out the obvious ones pre-2005. Well, Lord, Lord of War. Lord, right, OK. That's 2005. Uh, National Treasure, that was like an Indiana Jones thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the two Disney ones, wasn't it? He did the second one as well. Wind Talkers, that was your war one, wasn't it? Wind Talkers, yeah, that was the one about the, the Navajo Indians, wasn't it? About the breaking the codes. Uh, oh, here's one that I, I really like this film, Captain Corelli's Mandolin. I've never seen it. 
Oh, that's I good. See. That's that's a good film. That. You know, we were talking last week about the uh, Greatest Showman and just not not buying into the hype. But that was another one that I didn't really buy into. Oh, it's it's a nice it's a nice film. That. Uh, oh yeah, Snake Eyes is ninety eight. Yeah. Eight millimeter. Face Off and Con Air are both the same year, ninety seven. All right. Okay. Oh, there's one that I've recommended on one of my videos as well from um, Car Booting, It Could Happen to You, where they win the lottery. Mm. That was a good one. Oh, so, it's, yeah, there's some there's some real good ones. I can see why he said he went, he went pre-2005. Yeah. Because mm. like you say, when you, when you look at the films that he's done now, because uh, that knowing is on face on Netflix at the moment, isn't it, where we break, where we... He figures out the code of who's going to die and when and, and stuff like that. And, right. Uh, he has done quite a few sh poor ones as of late. He's done, they're almost B movies, aren't they? Yeah. Where they, they've kind of, they've got him as the big star, Nicholas Cage, the big star. They've paid him, obviously, the chunk of the budget for acting and then the rest is just like nobodies. Yeah, well, we said that about Bruce Willis last week, didn't we? A lot of Bruce Willis' stuff has gone straight to DVD. I oh, know, yeah. Um, there you go. Lana says, Boy in Striped Pyjamas, one of my favourites. We did mention it last week. Mm. Somebody mentioned it, but that's it's it's heartbreaking, that film. Yeah. But it's it's good. It's a good film, but it is really sad, very sad. Oh, here you go. Legion's talking about that that one that I mentioned before. Uh, not vampire. It's not a vampire. It's high school kid who creates a drink. Oh, I, I must have been thinking of something else than Legion. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, old Tori says she can't bring herself to watch the boy in the striped pajamas. Oh, you should watch it. It's it's a good film. It is good. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's till till death us do part is the, the Alf Garnet uh, series. Mm. You ever do you ever watch it? I might have done. I'm only thirty eight though, Chris. So a lot of the stuff that you talk oh. about is before my time. You're only about a year younger than me. <laughs> um, yeah, that was so racist that that program. Mm. Um, yeah, everyone's saying till death is with Connor ninety seven. Um, let me just try and catch up here now. Oh, here we go. Someone, all I've seen is Human Centipede. Someone's mentioned it. Mm -hmm. There we go. If you have a strong stomach and don't eat, check out the Human Centipede. It's a sick film. Yeah, Legion. Are you are you talking about the original Last House on the Left or the remake? Because the remake had was it Jennifer Lawrence in it? Where's that comment? Uh, it was oh, the, the, the most yeah. recent one. Go, he loves go go movies. Last yeah. House on the Left, Spit on Your Grave, New York Ripper. I've never seen New York Ripper. Originals, not the remakes. Mm. Yeah, because Last House on the Left had a remake, didn't it? Yeah, because because the first the, the first one was there's a particular scene in the first one that it nearly got it banned, and then they sort of watered it down for the remake version. But that might have something to do with who was actually starring in the scene at the time. The um, the Human Centipede. I think there's three of those. I think it's a trilogy. Hmm. Have you ever seen it, Steve? No, I haven't seen a human centipede. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, yeah. That that's one for you to watch. That it's pretty. <laughs> it's yeah, pretty that's sick, that's... and that's not like as in the kids these days. They say something it's sick. Sick. It, yeah. It's literally sick. <laughs> I, th I think we did. I think we did mean to watch it, but we just never got around to. And that'll, it'll, you know what, that'll be a lovely that'll be a lovely little film for you and Lana to snuggle up to and just <laughs> you know get the popcorn out have a, have a nice night in well judging by Lana's comment there she's seen it has she? <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, human centipede dream. It shows what she was doing when I've been working away. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Cage in a film called Mandy 2018 heard is good, not seen it yet. Oh, I've not heard of that one. Mm -hmm. Mandy. Queen, Queen of Conquest is in, Human Centipede. Blah. Yeah, so that's pretty much how it goes, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Lana, Lana's saying she watched it years ago. Did, did, did you get around to watching number two and number three as well, Lana? I don't think I've seen number three. I think I've seen number two. Uh, never what's that, Chris? Never trust a car park attendant, attendant, Lana. It must have something to do with a human centipede. Yeah, I, I remember something about it now, but I can't 100% remember. Mm. Uh, no, she says one was in Huff. <laughs> uh, Matt's. Car boot discs is in. Really trippy. Uh, oh, Mandy's on Netflix. Oh, we'll have to see if we can find it then. Could, could be worth a, a ganders. Yeah. Mandy. What's it about? Let's have a quick look. Mandy. It'll put, I've still got Nicolas Cage up on here now. What? It's not even coming up on there. Oh, there it is. 2018, Mandy. Oh, I think I recognise the cover art, actually. Mm. I just probably didn't connect um, Nicolas Cage to it. Um, Bailey's asking everyone's favourite biography, as in, like, Ray, Rocketman, or Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, one, I... I don't know if it's a biography or not, but it's based on the um, USA ice hockey team, which was a miracle where they go off in the Winter Olympics. It's got um, Kurt Russell in and a few of the others. That's a that's a quite a good one. A miracle. The Sorry? I don't think I've seen that. No, well, watch it if you like it. If you like that type of film, Miracle is quite good. Yeah, I mean, on that on that same theme, I really enjoyed um, Eddie the Eagle, the film. Mm. Did you watch it? Uh, no, I didn't see. I, I haven't seen Eddie the Eagle. No, I've seen the business though. That's the one with Danny Dyer, in, isn't it? Where they go abroad and all the drugs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, I liked Eddie the Eagle, and uh, yeah, is that? Is is that similar to Miracle? Uh, Eddie the Eagle uh, was more, yeah, because it's all about how he got into his uh, mm -hmm. high jumping and stuff, wasn't it? The ski jumping. Yeah, yeah. But there's a, there's a load of them that are based on like true events, like um, remember the Titans and 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 stuff like that. And I, I prefer those type than the musical. Uh, Rocket, like I say, Rocket Man. We turned that off about ten minutes in. Rocket Man was nowhere near as good as what I was expecting it to no. be. It, it wasn't. It wasn't what I expected it to be. Where Bohemian Rhapsody was loosely based on Freddie Mercury's life coming up. Obviously, they changed a few aspects of it, but yeah, that Rocket Man was just a musical for through and through. But uh, and then Cool Runnings, of course. Yeah. That was based on true story, wasn't it? Mm hmm Goodbye, Charlie Bright. Hmm. Don't remember seeing that. Uh, I thought Liam Neeson's latest film was good, but just didn't get that much attention. Sadly, it was... What was it? Don't know it. Um, the business is oh, great, what Danny Daniel. What was that called now? It was like another type of. It was like, was it the commuter or something? Oh, now you mentioned that, yeah, Liam Neeson. 
Is it kind of it was a typical Liam Neeson film, wasn't it? Well, yeah, typical. Now he's over fifty and wants to be an action star. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. Is he on a plane? He's on a plane, isn't he? Or is it a train? I can't remember. Oh, uh, Tory Love, Daddy the Eagle. That's worth watching. That Steve, it, it's a it's a real good film. That yeah. I think I've got that on DVD. I think I bought it. I'm just trying to think who's in that video. Is that the Hugh Jackman one? Was Hugh Jackman in it? Is the trainer? Yes, he's he's a he's his like coach. Yeah, he ends up being his coach. I'm just looking up that one. Just give me a second. Um, it's all up here, Lance. I don't need to make notes. Hey, Kalana's asking how I'm making notes. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, ne Liam Neeson. It's bugging me. I just need to. I just need to look up this one. Um, where is his discography? Uh, uh, filmography. Uh, oh, I'm not. Oh, there you go. The commuter. Was it the commuter? Yeah. Uh, action thriller in which an insurance salesman ex cop is caught up in a life threatening conspiracy during his daily commute home. Yeah. Yeah, it rings a bell to me. Wrong place, Ooh, wrong time. One, don't they? Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Let's get a hammer up the briefcase and smash some people up. That's what it'll be. I know. Oh, um, Cold Pursuit. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, my, my young son. There's a little fucking fly in here. I think it's a mosquito. <laughs> Uh, my young son cried at Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, it is. It is sad. It is sad. Um, life story of. Oh, here we go. Tina Turner again. Chris has got a thing about Tina Turner. Uh, what's love got to do with it? I don't think I've ever watched it. Oh, here we go. Jimmy the reseller. <laughs> don't, don't get me started on that one. Thought it was pretty good. Don't get me started on that one yet. Yeah, let's let's wait for uh, let's wait for Oliver Ian. Rubber. We'll talk about it in a bit, Jimmy. Come back to us in a minute. Come back to us in a yeah. minute. Um. Oh, non-stop. That was it. Yeah, I was getting confused with non-stop. That was all was right. That? That. Was Men of Honor based on? A true thing. The first black deep sea diver. The, I've never, I've never seen that. I can picture not see the it, cover of it. Yeah, Cubby Junior in Robert De Niro. Mm. Great film, and I, I, I think somewhere it, it's stuck in the back of my head. It's based on true events or something. Yeah, Oliver Ian saying yes. But that, if you if you haven't seen that, I'd recommend that one. What was that called? Men of Honor. I've got a, I'm getting a big list here. Um, okay. Uh, he fights good for his age. You know, it's not really him fighting, don't you? He's just pretending. He's just like... And he doesn't hit him. It's like, it's like the body double for Julia Roberts, isn't it, in uh, Pretty Woman? Everyone wants, well, everyone wants to be Julia Roberts, but it wasn't Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Legion says best genre of movies has to be horror especially religious horror that's very specific hmm. I think we should do um, uh, Oliver Ian said to me why don't we have like a Halloween show maybe not it doesn't necessarily have to be on Halloween but close to Halloween Mm. We'll just talk all about horror films. Famous well, uh, favorite Rocky Rocky movie. 
Oof. We went to see Rocky uh, at, at the cinema uh, last mm. week. It was Rocky One was on. You know what? I, I, I couldn't even. I've seen it a few times, but the first half an hour, don't even remember ever seeing it before. It was like, it was like I was watching a new film. I didn't even remember any of it because you just you you zone in on the on the boxing on the matches, don't you? On the fights. I just think what happens in the first half hour that he's. It's just a build up to him, sort of. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of setting the scene, like where he lives and how he meets Adrian and all that stuff. Yeah, the the, the snow the, was it the snow tiger in the park? Was that the second one or the first one? Oh. But uh, I, I can I can remember him buying Coffin Link, the two terrapins and stuff like that. And oh yeah, the terrapins are in the first yeah. one. Coffin Link. Uh, what was the other? What, what else happened in that? The best Rocky's one's number dog. four, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The best one's number four. Uh, I think. I think everyone. I think most people think the best one is number four. Yeah. It's unusual, isn't it? I mean, for for the in a series, for the best one to be number four, but it was just so good that that one. Hmm. Well, it closed the Apollo link off, didn't it? The, the, the yeah. Apollo being the three films yeah. before it. Yeah, good point. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm way behind here. Mazes and Monsters. Uh, Chris T. Made me cry. I assume that is Tina Turner film. Favorite. Oh, there's the favorite Rocky. Uh, Donny. Oh no, Donny Brasco. I didn't like that film. Mm. Found it a bit weird and complicated. But I'm just. I, I don't really like complicated films. Anything that makes me think too much. Too much. Like if it confuses me, I don't enjoy it very much. No, that explains. Your recommendations for Zombievers and Rubber? Well, <laughs> Rubber, Rubber really did make me think, but we'll, I'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, I think Oliver Ian's given us a countdown. Yeah. Oh no, he's no, no, he's that's saying Rocky, Rocky, that's Rocky film. Yeah. I didn't know that Legion, but it makes sense now you've said that. Um. I Where's think uh, Rocky, Rocky two, and Rocky three for me. Rocky four was okay. Rocky four was okay, but five was trash. And Stallone said himself, the worst one we made. See, I think five was the build up for Creed, wasn't it? That that that's what's given the the idea to do Creed of Rocky trying mm -hmm. to be a trainer and do it. Right yeah. way, and Tommy Gunn was well. Sorry, uh, Creed was just a replace for Tommy Gunn, isn't he? Interesting fact. Oh, Oliver! I just spotted Oliver Reen in the background. Hmm. So we'll bring him on in a second. Uh, oh, Dave repairs is in. Dave got a bone to pick with you. We'll talk about it in a bit. <laughs> Right, okay, right, let's just bring him on. Hello. Oh, there he is. Evening. Evening. You okay? Yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah Busy I'm day at work in your new high flying role. Yeah, I just, I'm just knackered, mate, but I was flying down to get back to this. So, but a couple of things Mad Max. The thing yeah. about Mad Max, it's the practical effects. They're not. I don't think they're great movies, but the, everything's practical effects mm. on it, which is the reason why people appreciate them. What else did I have? I was listening on the. I was listening on the way back, and I was like, I'm going to mention that. Uh, <laughs> he'll come to me though. He'll come to me. <laughs> How are you doing anyway? Yeah, Good not time. bad. Not bad. There you go, Chris. Uh, Jimmy, the Jimmy resellers just pull in there the, the short thing for Men of Honor for you. Men of Honor was amazing. Yeah, super. Cal Bashir, that's the one. Yeah, mm. Petty Officer Cal Bashir. 
no one took and just nigging at the back of your head about is it was it based on yeah it was definitely, yeah because he lost his um he lost his leg didn't he he lost his right leg yeah yeah Lana says guns og take your own food to cinema yeah cinema slump smugglers cinema <laughs> That's why it's yeah, bags, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I love put that in your bag. <laughs> have you heard yeah, have you heard the song Cinema Smugglers? Mm -hmm. hey, but the, um, last time we went to cinema hot pot, Lancashire hot pot. No, mm. yeah, well, we'll have to dig it out. The last time that we went to cinema, we were in Sainsbury's before we went in, and I was buying sweets and Lana bought do you know the little glasses of wine? All right. Bottle, that, that of like a glass of wine, and you just pop that, and, and she smuggled a couple of them into watching the film. And I was just like, if she's going to watch another comic book movie, she wants to get pissed while she was doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so my t-shirt today, right? So, white men can't oh, jump. Oh, what? Yeah, nice, nice one. I thought that was. I forgot to put baby. one of my t-shirts on. I think you need a light, Oliver Ian. Why? You need to get a light so we can see you better. Why is it not good enough? No, it's 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 fine. I'm just saying, just get just maybe get oh, a little a little light. I've already got enough light bouncing off the top of my head, thanks. <laughs> what you mean like me? Shining. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the title of tonight's show is all about uh, well, not all about, but we're going to touch on it. Cineworld, closing of cinemas. So what do you guys think of that? Well, they threatened it, didn't they, early on in the year while they were in lockdown the first time. That yeah. if they don't open them, they were going to go bust. But I don't think they're going bust, are they? I think they're just shutting certain, certain cinemas down. Uh, I think they're doing what HMV did, didn't they? And get rid of like sixty percent of the cinemas and keep uh, a select a few open. Well, the, the, uh, the CEO came out, didn't he? Oh, the, the CEO came out and and yeah. said that. I mean, it, it, this thing with Bond and obviously Bond being delayed until next year, it was it was a big factor in it, but. Mm -hmm. That's just hiding the fact that they they've been struggling. Can't for be it. the only factor. No, oh no, not at no, all. It is. I think I think cinema in general has suffered the last two years, eighteen months at least. Um, look, the lockdown fair. hasn't helped, but it's the prices. It's the prices when you're going in, and in some cinemas, it's costing you fifteen quid for a standard ticket, and then it's costing you four quid for a bag of sweets and eight quid for a small coke. I before said you realize you realize you know, that you quid before you've got it. That's exactly what I said to Chris the other day. Because yeah. we were laughing about it, uh, me and a couple of my yeah. cousins were laughing about it. Because we used to go to showcase in Manchester, mm -hmm. you know, and they'd have like fifty p days where you'd literally go, and it was fifty p to watch a movie. And and as a sort of a teenager growing up, we'd we'd be there all day. Absolutely, yeah. and you'd, you'd spend absolutely nothing really. When, you know, nowadays it's ridiculous. When the Cine World first opened in Runcorn, uh, it was amazing because we did the nearest cinema to us was Warrington, and we had to we had to get the bus to go to Warrington. You're talking. 40, 50 minutes plus journey. Yeah. So it was a nightmare to get there. And then I got the, it wasn't called the VIP pass, then it was it was like the movie club or something like that, where you pay like 15 quid a month and you got unlimited movies. You can go oh, in and watch. Unlimited. Yeah, you can go in and watch as many movies as you want. And some days we just used to sit in there on a Saturday and just bounce from film to film to film to film. Yeah, and just, that was it, literally one after the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, if if you if you went and watched three films in a month, you've paid the admission for, for the the membership. Yeah. Um, the view by us. Yeah. Uh, I think Lana just put that in the post there. The view by us on the Monday, do cheaper tickets. It's like, yeah, there you go for four ninety nine to get in. Um, so they did like special offers then uh, to get people back in because their their tickets were extortionate. So it's not. I mean, the thing is, is that it's not really the price of the ticket. It's more the fact of everything else around it. You know. So if you look at it now, you saw, like you said yourself, you could, it's a fifty quid night out. Yeah. Just by buying. Well, that's that's just for me for the snacks yeah. at the bar when we're going in. You want that experience, and that's. I mean, that's fair enough. But that, that's where all the money's made, isn't it? Yeah. 
I mean, <coughs> the one near us was sort of a smaller cinema up until recently. They've done it up. Um, but you'd spend they would like half an hour's worth of adverts beforehand and about two trailers. Mm. And then I'd asked them yeah. about it. And like, literally, it's the revenue. That literally, you'd spend half an hour before you actually start the movie was yeah. just pure adverts for things. You know, it's just completely ruined it. So you turn up like you turn up like half an hour afterwards, and you still wouldn't miss any of the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we've had. Um, it's funny actually because we, I've had a <laughs> Cineworld Unlimited card. That's what you were talking about, Steve, wasn't yeah. it? Um, I well, we, me and Annabelle have had it, but me and my mate had one as well. Um, up until a week before they announced this, I'd had my card for twelve years. I'd Good paid time. for that for 12 years. And um, we, we decided to cancel it before they announced that they were closing because not only were there no, there's no films being released at the moment, there's literally nothing worth watching. And the ones that are on have been on for months now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but down here, it's weird because most things down here in the Southwest are more expensive than the Northwest. But... In regards to cinema, because there's quite a lot of competition down here, cinema-wise, there's yeah. uh, Cine World just yeah. around the corner, literally like a five-minute walk. You can go to the View, um, and then there's two or three little local cinemas to us, like little village cinemas mm. as well. So Cine World actually dropped their prices to four pound fifty, I think, a ticket. Yeah. And in Manchester, up in Manchester, it's like it's, I think it's ten pound, basically ten oh, pounds for a ticket. Easily. Um, so just to clear it, it made it less. Oh, Cine World and I, IMAX is the type of screen, isn't it? It's not owned by a particular company. It's yeah. Type of, yeah. Type of screen. Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm That's like it, a not sure. Sorry. Yeah. But um, the um, it, it didn't make us worth paying sort of 16 17 pound a month anymore because mm -hmm. we could just go in for four pound 50 on an adult ticket so whereas in manchester you only had to go twice a month to make it worthwhile you've got to go four times a month down here to make it worth <laughs> they, it. they're saying that there's a, there's a link for it says temporary closures for cine world mm. yeah i, well, I mean I they're know. saying it's temporary aren't they but we're in reality are they are they probably they're probably not going to open wholly are they again i don't reckon I think they'll. I think they'll be doing it like it'll be a case of which one's the most profitable, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it'll be if it's if it's profitable, then they'll try and reopen them ones rather than all two hundred or whatever there was of them. Atlanta, Atlanta called our New World and Run Corner Pikey yeah, Cinema. Yeah. It's got it's got eight screens. It's got a little arcade. It's got a little bar, but it's not like a, a full size cinema type of. No. place that they own it holds about 150 people per screen or something like that um yeah like say the the unlimited parts of any world was the way that i went when they first opened but it's been a while since we went to the cinema there's, just, there's nothing been, no. there's nothing well, been in the cinema that's been worth going to watch well chris no. was saying the when i spoke to him he was saying that last time he went it was it was quiet wasn't it oh mm -hmm. yeah well it's it's since um since they've been open after lockdown certainly here at cine world plymouth um we've probably been about four times and it's um it's been absolutely dead every single time we've literally had the cinema to ourself yeah. we've not even bothered with our face masks like you're supposed to because who are we who are we distancing from there were nobody else in the cinema Mm -hmm. so we didn't sit there with face masks on although we had them ready if somebody come in but literally you could even come out of the cinema there was nobody there it's like a ghost town every single time and i'm talking friday night saturday night yeah. just no one in there so i mean the number of times i must have said to annabelle and, and my mate who's back up north and you know he's given up, up his card now as well but the number of times i said you know how long can they carry on like this for well, it, it's a knew, matter of time before they shut. You knew they were in trouble when they started putting theatre shows on, like The Lion King and Les Mis and, and stuff like that. And then they up in New Brighton started putting football matches on. They bought the rights to, to put football games on during the World Cup and stuff like that. So 
people weren't going to watch films. They were going to watch other stuff. Yeah. Uh, music concerts and stuff like that. You, you know, where uh, you, you, the cinema was affiliated to the the promotion that was doing the music concert, and next thing you know, it was being beamed live into a cinema screen for those that couldn't buy a ticket. You know, they. <sighs> Are, are, are you right? Are they are, are they on the on the verge of the big screen as we know it dying out, or or is these because we we hit on it last week with Mulan with Disney? Is that the way they're gonna go? Steve, I mean, you think about it, the the amount of stuff on streaming now, you know, and and the prices of a, of a night out in the cinema, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a special night out, should we say? You know, an odd one rather than a, a, a weekly or a. a monthly appear you know occasion yeah you know because i mean when we had our you're probably yeah, the same Steve, but when we had our unlimited cards we used to just go and watch any film willy-nilly just because we had yeah. it and it was something to do but now we haven't got it we're we're only going to go like if it's something we really want to watch like a big blockbuster yeah, or exactly, a yeah. film that's just like made to be seen at the cinema like jurassic world or something yeah. we'll go and watch that you know that's an experience yeah uh, I, know, I, can't, I can't think. I can't think of a film that I wanted to see on the big screen. What was our last three films you went to see on the big screen? I think it was the Nun, the Meg, and well, the Meg, the Meg I actually watched in IMAX, um, and Deadpool Two. I think was the last three hmm. that we went to see. Yeah, but it's not something that you couldn't wait six months and watch it a different way. No, no, I'd I'd watch it on the telly downstairs. It's, yeah, you know. It's big enough, I would imagine. Damien <laughs> said, uh, still have my Cineworld card. They stopped taking a direct debit. Yeah, they did. But then they, they'd started taking it again. I think they probably took about two or three payments off me. Um, and then then I decided to cancel. Uh, and then they basically said they were shutting anyway. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, Matt said cinema started diversifying. I think they had to diversify, yeah. really. And it was a good idea to jump on stuff like the World Cup. I mean, I'd have I'd have gone to watch, you know, some big football match in the cinema. I think that'd have been a good experience. We got things like outdoor cinemas now as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, screenings and stuff like that. I think it just boils down to be just being so damn expensive. That's exactly it. The best thing I've ever done in the cinema was my cousin Mikey. You've seen him on a couple of Andrew screens. Uh, he's the short, fat one that one day shit shirt comp. Um, he had this tag in the cinema. He rented the cinema screen. There was eight of us sat in the back of the cinema playing Xbox on the big screen. Nice. So we, so we played FIFA, Call of Duty, and stuff like that. And two o'clock in the morning, we're, we're, we're coming out the cinema. And Mikey's still there playing Call of Duty. That's all you could hear down the street. Is called you. Joan says Cine World local to me in London was good. Monthly pass, very good. Yeah, I mean the passes were very good value. The unlimited cards were very good value. Especially, you know, you're down in London, it's you know, anywhere really from apart from here, but yeah. it, it represented yeah. good value. But this I mean, is the I thing go a couple of times oh. a week. I never bought food or drink there. That's the thing, because that's where they're making the money. Yeah. You're not you're not buying that, then that they're not making much on that. It's such a rip-off though, isn't it? You yeah, get this absolutely. tiny, absolutely. you know, a small popcorn. It's like this big. Yeah. And you think to yourself, when you get it, you think that's cost them. What's the retail? What's the cost price of that wholesale price? About five P. Yeah. Right? And it's cost you six popcorn and a and a and a paper bag. It's about five P, and yet they want to charge you four quid for it. Mm. That's where they're going wrong, yes. They have to make money, but it puts people off. Yeah, but as like families, it's the same sort of situation. You think about it as if it's just you and your partner, whatever, you're still spending 50 quid. If it's a family, can you imagine how much you're spending? Yeah. You know, family of four, well, whatever. I was, I was just about to say that there, Chris, about what Matt has just put on the chat. I don't think they won't release. If, if you think about the companies now that are releasing films to cinema, They've yeah. got their own streaming things. Yeah. You know, you've got Netflix now are making so many of their own films. They don't need the cinema. No. They're releasing them straight out to Netflix because people are paying their monthly subscriptions. Disney yeah. will just do the same in the long run. Like I say, they dip the water with Mulan. They'll change the format of it and they'll just release them all to Disney Plus. 
Yeah, you could be talking in a couple of years' Bingy, time. Bingy, Do you remember when Moolah was the first one? Yeah. Bing is coming out soon. Is it Borat 2? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah Borat 2, well, but that's going, that's going straight on to Amazon Prime. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. But again, it's monthly subscription, isn't it? People are paying, uh, what, 12 quid a month for Netflix or whatever. So, you know, they don't they don't need to pay for a cinema ticket now. They can just do that. Disney Plus cost me 60 quid a year. You know, so... If you if you're thinking sort of like we're in this situation for to the next six months, these companies are one are going to get one are going to get these these movies out. Not necessarily the biggest blockbusters, but they want to get them out. Yeah, they they might be flogging them off to Netflix. They might be flogging them off to you know Prime and that. Mm -hmm. People can see these movies as an alternate to waiting until these cinemas open again. Yeah, we love family trips to the cinema. My son cannot leave. Uh, the cinema until the end credits is finished. I played Marvel for that. Try waiting until the end of Lego Movie credits. Twenty five. <laughs> it makes, it makes it worth now. Marvel have started doing two cut scenes, one in the middle of the trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's when you sat there though, and like I think there was one of them that was it was the end game that was like there was no, there was no what no at the end, yeah. Internet. But you're all still sat there and they're going, hang on a second, is there anything coming up? And you just wait and wait and wait, and then then one of the stewards will walk in and go, "There's no end scene, mate." Oh, yeah. right, okay. <laughs> the lights come on, and you're all sat there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think the other one was, um, I think it was the uh, Logan. Mm. I think it was something like that because obviously it, it was the end of well, that. It was the end of the story, wasn't it? Yeah. So there was no cut scene for any other movie. So it's a controversial question for you then. Yeah. You know, when Iron Man 1 and The Incredible Hulk, the uh, Ed Norton Hulk uh, was out, not the Eric Banner one, they only released like one or two a year. Yeah. You know, and they were big, big things. Do you think that type of film where they're releasing three, four, five a year is what's put people off from going because these regular trips to the cinema now are expected? I'm not a big family oh, trip out once or twice a year. This is it. I mean, the thing is, is that they're, they're spitting out movies left, right, and centre about, you know, especially Marvel and not yeah. so much DC, but definitely Marvel. And it's too many, you know, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, you, you look at sort of the running schedule for sort of the summertime and stuff like that, and it's there's so many films you're like, all right, I'm going to have to watch that, I'm going to have to watch that. And that's where those movie cards come in. Mm. But you're still spending on everything else. Yeah. You go, oh, I'll get a slushy, or I'll get this, I'll get that. It's just so expensive. When I can, I can yeah. wait six months and buy the movie, even if I'm buying it physical media for 15, 20 quid. Mm -hmm. You know, unless it's yeah. something like that, unless it's some big cinema release, and you're like, right, yeah. that looks amazing on that size screen. Yeah. I don't see the need in doing it. No. The only issue now, sorry, Chris. The only issue now with social media. Is if you if you don't watch something, you've got to you've got to ignore social media for about three months before because any time you click on something, it will come up with this ending or this ending or that, and you, you, it ruins it. You know, like if you've not watched one of the latest Marvels as an example or mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. you know, you, you've got to stay away from it all. Otherwise, it ruins what's going on. Well, the thing True. the thing with Marvels was that it wasn't. Um... Which one was released out of sync? Was it Ant Man and the Wasp was out before yeah, um, yeah. Infinity Infinity War? Yeah, so I think so. One of the, yeah, so so one of them sort of put you in what was happening for Infinity War before yeah. it happened and people started to disappear and you're like, I'm gonna check what's what's this? Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. and and then it happened in Infinity War, so you were like, ah, right, okay, yeah, explains it, yeah, yeah, it was. But uh, yeah, I think I think they've released far too many. I'm a I'm a big comic book fan. I like my comics. I like me 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 comic movies and stuff like that. But I think the way Disney have jumped on the Marvel bandwagon and releasing five or six films in one, I think it was around that Panther time. We have three films quite quick, one after the other. And it was just it's like, overkill, isn't it? Yeah. It's overkill. You get sick of them, to be honest. You get sick of them. It's way too you many. Know. 
Matt said, hopefully cinema fans will keep going uh, and support local independents. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what we're what we're looking at doing because we've got two little small local independent cinemas that are, that are within a 10 minute drive of us, um, which is surprising really considering we live out in the middle of the country, but there's two little village cinemas. So we're, we're gonna hopefully when they open up, which I don't know whether we'll be delayed again, we're gonna try and support them a little bit. Mm. Um, Star Wars overload, yeah. Oh, yeah so Don't I even get me started on that. So this is what I've just sort of noticed. I was looking at movies sort of coming up this year and stuff, and it said that uh, Bill Bill and Ted Face the Music was theatrical and video on demand. So it was released on two different. It was on it was on video on demand as well as in the theaters. Yeah, you could stream it, couldn't you? Sure, you could stream it. Yeah, you said you watched it on something, didn't you? Because yeah, yeah, watched it. Yeah. I can't remember what I, what I watched it on, but it was on something. Has Wonder Woman been pushed back yet? Uh, no, no, not that I know of. Because that should be released now. I'm sure that's been pushed back as well. They're not going to have such a big film like that, are they, surely? No. Well, like, like you say, they'll be going to have to try and find something else because it won't be long before we're in Christmas and we're not going to be able to go. And, and those big... Films usually come out the end of October, beginning of November, ready for the Christmas run, don't they, where people are being off and, and, yeah. and stuff like that. So they're going to have to look at it some way because they can't just push it back because I think in total was there eight Marvel films between now and end of 21? You're joking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah. When, when, when they're talking the likes of your Black Widows, your Eternals, yeah. the new the new mutants and stuff like that. There's about eight of them, isn't there? Between yeah. now and the end of next year. I think Black Widow, to... I think Black Widow got pushed back. Yeah, so they're gonna have to look at how they're getting them out if we're if we're if we're stopping this whole group gathering cinema thing. Mm. Mm. What's what's is the Christmas release at the minute? Do if think... anyone um oh, wants to join want... our facebook group there's a facebook group now movie chats and we're kind of linking our uh live shows to the group so we're chatting about stuff and then we'll chat about it on on the, on the show as well so if you want to join the group feel free so we've been on for an hour and 10 minutes now chris when are we going to get to this shit movie you recommended oh yeah, yeah. right let's let's, let's, let's go steve shall we let's <laughs> let's go to the homework then there's a and reason it, someone was telling that i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> um what what should we do first? Rubber. Let's get rid of rubber first. Rubber. Yeah. Um hang on a minute. Let me just bring it up on database. Yeah, let's just point out on that one. I ordered that on Blu-ray and because it was off eBay, it's not turned up yet. Now oh. I have watched it. I have watched it, but it's the one film I'm not looking forward to turning up for my door. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, 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 I found it via other means, and okay. I'm, I'm glad I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hang on a sec. Let me just share it so people can see uh, what we're talking about. Um, You're not gonna, we're not going to watch the trailer, are we? I'm not putting the trailer on because I'll get done for copyright. But right, we're talking about rubber, that, which is this one. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to explain the premise of it. See um, if you get anybody else to buy into it. Yeah. Um, basically, it's a um, ru oh. a tire, as you can see, a rubber tire that is kind of like possessed, um, and it um, goes on the rampage. So it's as a, a name, mind it? own. <laughs> it's got a name. I can't remember. Yes, I think it's called Robert or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it starts off really interestingly, Chris. I'll give you that. It hooked it hooked me for about ten minutes when the car they drives up. Wild, the breaking road. the fourth wall. Yeah, where it drives up the desert road, it's knocking the chairs over, and then he, he gets out and he's talking away and he's you know, some films are filmed in this way and, and whatever, and what you're gonna watch is a live a live movie and all this, like, and then it pans out, and he's talking to an audience that's watching it. 
that, that that's what's been going on. And I thought, I can watch this. This this looks all right. And then the fucking tire appears. <laughs> starts crushing cans and stuff like that on a desert road. And this then, is probably my mind. I watched it two days ago, so. Yeah, and someone's head explodes. And you're like, what the fuck is this? And then when he's interviewing somebody else and he pulls out a piece of paper after after this tire's masturbating away in the corner and his head blows off. That's the only way you can describe the, the, the action of this tire. I had not even thought of that. Forget and then he's not the rabbit. <laughs> he pulls out this post-it note and he goes, yeah, the kid's right, it's a killer tire. And you went, right, yeah, okay. And then it just goes fucking downhill from there. The, at oh. the end, where, the, where, where they try and kill it with the mannequin. And he's right. reading a porno script. Right, so yeah. first of all, the tire, the 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 first part where where the the guy breaks the fourth wall and he's going right. Why is E.T. grey? Why mm -hmm. is this? Why is this in this film? You know, for no, it's no reason whatsoever. You're thinking this is quite a this is quite yeah. there's a philosophy to this. So it's one of those movies that it might be terrible, but you're going actually, it's made me think that, and it yeah, doesn't make you think. Right? It does not make you think. Oh. Right. The only thing you're thinking is how the hell did they get that tire to move? Which is remote yeah, controlled. I was thinking that. It's remote controlled because I had a look up on this. Right. <laughs> but then they got the audience, and all of a sudden it pans out, and there's this audience, and you're like, yeah. okay, this is this is interesting. And then it, it just starts breaking things. So it runs over something at a very like a mile an hour. Mm. I mean, even the even the, the cop chase was the, the the thing was going about five miles an hour. And this this cop is behind them, flashing away like it's something out of one of the TV programs. And this tire, you, you could have walked faster than this tire's going. But I it mean, was you've got a shower scene with the tire. Yeah, it's when it's when the tire's watching the F one and the fellas out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like born for tires. Do you know what though? I read up on it, and it was saying the director. Wanted it to be like the start of the first part of Wally, because I was watching it and I'm like, this is a bit. This reminds me of summer, and it literally was. It was sort of that silence, this mm. tire just going around, a bit like Wally did originally. Mm. And that's what the that's what he wanted to do. That's what he wanted to make it like the the sort of start of it. He failed. I I don't understand who signs this thing off. I know. So, so, what attracted you to the film, Chris, that you wanted to actually oh, recommend it? On a Blu-ray from a car boot. No, I, I, somebody had told me to watch it. Really? Yeah, I think they were having a laugh. <laughs> you know, do, you know, do you know who I actually feel sorry for here now? Is, is Steve, because he's actually gone and spent money on this for it to sit on the shelf going... I was dared to watch this. <laughs> I am going to put it on for someone that I really don't like. i would be like, I'll tell you what, watch this. This is amazing. You know, the next time the mother-in-law comes round, that's something yeah. to keep her happy, isn't it? Something, something to think about. Yeah. I think this movie. I didn't understand what the whole audience thing was. No, no, no. I mean, the part, they're obviously the, the, the part of the movie. Yeah, I know, but, you no, know, well, like... As thing. this guy is moving around this villa, this 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 town, Dave, watch it, mate. Honestly, and they're, they're watching it, but it it was miles away, and it was moving all over the show, and yet they're just stood watching it in this static that, position. That, that's why they, they all got given binoculars. Yeah, yeah, he but it, binoculars, it, it, and then no they sense. all turned to watch it, and he went, "Oh, there's a tire," and next thing you know, it picks up on the tire killing this can I, on the road. I just did not and it's understand the bit, it. I didn't and it's understand the bit it. where. It's the bit where he comes out the house after blowing up the mannequin and, and killing the copper and everything. And he goes, he, 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 the, one of the audience members goes, I'm just an audience member. I'm watching this. I'm not I'm not part of the film. And it's just like, right, okay. But, uh, yeah, it, it was just, it was interestingly shit, Chris. I, I yeah, it was. Was. it was. The, the thing is that when when it's sort of the, the, the telekinesis, isn't it? That's the word. Yeah. When the telekinesis is happening, why is the wheel just not spinning? It's just like vibrating. It's shaking. Yeah. You'd, you'd imagine it to yeah. You'd imagine it to sort of be spinning like on the on the on the spot. Mm -hmm. 
but it, it's just bizarre. But there wasn't there, there wasn't even a backstory of the tire, was it? Like how it got possessed? No, no, no. We don't need Not any really. of that. Why do we need that? That would have made it interesting. Yeah, we're in the, we're in the, we're Jesus yeah. Christ. I don't want to spoil the ending for anyone that's actually going to go yeah. and watch it now. Based you need on to watch this. it. Anybody go and watch it. I mean, you're talking an hour. Yeah, if, you've got, if you've got an hour and a half of your t of your day where you've got nothing to do and you want to, you just want an easy watch or what I would class as a throwaway movie, then go and watch it. But yeah, Chris, just you need to up your game, mate, with your recommendations. Oh, wait yeah. until you see today's. Wait and see what you see today. Right. So. Right, right, what else? Should we jump on to Dave Repairs? Because he's another one I've got to be. Yeah, I'm going to fucking kill that bastard. Right. Well, this one just turned up today. Uh, I tried to watch it in, in by other means uh, for about 20 minutes, and I turned it off because I, I, I wanted to watch. I thought rubber might be a better option on that night. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, rubber so, is amazing compared to that. But I like the guy out of it, the, out of that THX. Um, hmm. The main guy out of it, um, he's out of. He was in Godfather, wasn't he? Yes, he Godfather. was the. Um, it was like the advisor, wasn't he? He was the lawyer, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, the lawyer in the first one. Yeah. Uh, so that's 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 on my to-do list still. So, what do you want to talk about then? Have you uh, not watched THX? Huh? Have you not watched THX? Or... No, I'm waiting, but I'm still. I will watch it regardless of what you tell me. I will watch right. it. It's so, THX was, for me, it was a mix of it filmed in the style of something like Rollerball. Yeah. But not as good, right? It's it's like it's like his main job was building C-3PO robots all day. Well, the, 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 the coppers remind they, 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 they seem quite familiar then. Uh, they're like Silver Face type of yeah. Westworld type yeah. of, yeah. yeah. Um, you can see where he's got his in inspirations from when he's when he's doing where it, where what he's actually been watching before he's decided he's going to make the film. Do you want to point out who it's actually made by? Who it's directed George, by? George Lucas. George Lucas, yeah. So you you, you sat there and you're watching it, uh, rugged up to high heaven on. Um, not antidepressants, what's the word? Uh, do you want some sort of like um, sedatives? Sedatives, yeah. Yeah. Um, sedatives, is it? Sedatives, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, and it's like mind control, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it, goes, it goes down from the nerve. How they do? Sorry. No liking, no liking. Um, how do you explain it? You've not watched it, and I don't want to ruin a shit film for you. No, it's fine. It I, I'll watch it regardless. I hated it. The best, the best thing that happens is the last ten minutes where he gets into like this Le Mans type style That's car. The only bit that kept me in. Yeah, and he's, he's racing down this tunnel to get away from coppers that are chasing him on motorbikes, and then he gets on this ladder, and it's like this um, Logan's Run. Feel you can't leave the ball. Yeah, I know where you're going with it. And then he climbs up a ladder, and you're thinking, "Oh, is he going to expose the fact that he don't need need to live in this city?" Um, no, I was thinking all of this. And then it finishes. You get to the top yeah. of the ladder, and it goes, that's it. It goes off, and you're like, "Is that it?" Yeah, you know, it's like, it's it, like it, it, was, take it was just garbage. Yeah, it's like he doesn't take his drugs. He gets reported. Is he gets moved to sanitation? And next thing you know, he's racing bloody cars down tunnels and climbing ladders. So the question is, for its time, was it innovative? Was it you know visionary sort of stuff? Because that's movies that have been out. One. Other movies that were out before it, no. Right. Other movies that came out in the same time, no. <laughs> it, it, it was just. Yeah, it's like when you watch it, and and what? Chris, you, you've you've never watched Star Wars, but when you watch it, oh, Andy Pandy's back in. Yeah, can I just check that you've you've you blocked Tory? Yeah, it it flicked up, it flicked up when I pressed it. 
Sorry, Tori. She's not going to be happy now. Sorry, Tori. You'll be back in a minute. I don't know how to. I don't know how to remove it. Bloody hell. Lance, can you go in and unblock Tori for us? Um, <laughs> Lance has just shouted no. <laughs> 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 he's, he's blocked Tori, yeah. So you, can when you... I click on her, it just says report or block. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just have to it, it's just for five minutes, it says. Sorry, Tori. You're having a time out, Tori, basically. Yeah. It's giving you a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when, when, when you see him building these golden robots, it's sort of a mix between C3PO and Tweaky from uh, Buck Rogers. Oh yeah, and that's the that's the sort of sort of theme he's gone for, but it's just shit. Sorry, Dave. It's uh, so slow, isn't it? Though shit. it's so slow, it takes ages to get going. It's a for slow minute. For about twenty minutes, they're walking through a white room. Yeah, black, white blank room, wearing white uniforms, and all you can see is the heads. Like I said, I got, I got about 15, 20 minutes into it, and I was just like, "This ain't for me tonight." No. I was, I, I, was too mad. I was like, I no, no I'm just gonna watch that. And I, I actually looked at it and thought, oh, it's only a, it's only an hour and twenty five minutes or so. This uh, this rubber. I got <laughs> to fifty minutes and I'm like, why have I still got another half an hour of this? Rubber was better than THX one one three eight. Oh, right. So Dave, you're not recommending anymore. <laughs> come on, Dave, you can come in. Right, so what about the last one then? Wild Bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I like that. That was yeah. the most normal film out of a lot of them then. Yeah, yeah, it was a normal. It was a sort of a, a gritty British film. Yeah, I like that. The, the cast in it was really good. Mm -hmm. You know, considering you, you sort of, I mean, what was it, 2011, I think it said. Yeah. But, the, I mean, you've got the, the cast in it themselves, like the, the main... I say the main bad guy, but actually the father, you know, he's the he's a guy who's in who's Gollum, isn't he? And I think he's in Planet of the Apes and Black Panther. And the and guy's got a, it's, it's, uh, that's not Andy. Father's not Andy Scarrett, is it? No. Yes. Is it? Look. <laughs> oh, the main yes, sorry, the bad guy. Yeah, yes. Yeah, the, yeah. But you don't see a lot of him. But he's he's the no, dad. He wasn't, he wasn't in it much. Yeah, when which, sorry, when you were saying the dad, I thought you meant the dad that well, came back. No, the Green name Street. bad guy is the guy from Green Street. Yeah. And then you've got the the um the escort girl, she's from um Life of Mars. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was, was just, it was just a nice little film, wasn't it? It was, it was. I mean the he sort of spelt it out what was going to happen towards the back end. Yeah, no, but well, the, he was he was pulling it off for, for about an hour of the film, though, wasn't he? He was trying yeah. to stay out of trouble and stuff. We found we found that when we were in CEX and I had a tenner and I was just trying to spend my tenner and I picked that up for fifty p. You yeah. know, and it was, uh, that was probably what the it's one best of fifty p you spent. Sorry? the best fifty p out of the tenner you spent. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, I do, I do like these sort of British films. Yeah, I do. There's, there's, a, there's a whole top ten of them, to be fair. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't over the top. And it sort of... I mean, the, the thing is, it says on here, what was he saying, what was I reading? Gripping, heartwarming and laugh out loud funny. I wouldn't agree with the last bit. No. I don't think it's incredibly funny. I don't think um, it's meant to be, like, funny, though, is it? Okay. No, well, that's that's the tagline at the bottom, really. That's the hmm. the review from View London. It's, I want to say it was meant to be funny. No, no, I don't think it is at all. Not at it's all. Just, it's just that bit in the pub, isn't it, where he goes? Oh, what what does he call this? Is uh, truncheon thing? Was it do diff or something like that? And yeah. Just or, or e diff? Does one of the? Does she still live here on the shelf or something? And he he slides it over and just takes out about twelve guys, and it was just. No, I see. It's the, barmaid. the barmaid when she's downstairs and she's like, 
I've just bloody hoovered. <laughs> what so, else did yeah. we um what else did we watch? Um well, Steve, uh, did, Steve, didn't you uh, watch some beavers? Uh yeah, that was the week before, wasn't it? Oh was it? Yeah, for the week before that was awful as well. I put that in the no same way. Category. I don't believe you. I put that in the same category as THX and rubber. No way. Is that I'm on the wrong panel here with if that's the type of the quality of film that you're recommending. I think we should have like sort Some of like people. a rest sort of thing where it's like crap and good to watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chris's choices and good to watch. <laughs> Uh, right. Some Beavers. Beavers was brilliant because we got, we got usually when you watch that type of movie film, it starts off with the boobs, but at least it took about 15 minutes before the boobs come into it. So Lana was just like, oh, great, here's the boobs. You this know. is like the worst acting possible. Oh, all right. Yeah. Then. yeah. But let's, go, let's go for a swim in a dirty lake. Oh, by the way, I'm, there's my boobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like that shark it's, no mate, different, it? it's no different than Jaws. Oh yeah, it's, it's just like, up there with that. Yeah, it's just like that shark night, isn't it? Where the where they all jump in the shark invested lake. You know, and piranha. There's another one, piranha. Yeah. Same as that. Um, right. So I've got a film here that I've not watched. I picked it up at boot sale recently. You might have seen it on a video. Um, there you go, Johnny Forticoats. I enjoyed Don Beavers. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. You're lying. Uh, right. <laughs> I think Oliver. I think I might have sent this to Oliver Ian uh, on uh, on a message or something at the time. But oh, it's um, it's a it, it's very relevant for now because Walking Dead was back on. So it's a parody of The Walking Dead. Oh, the Walking God, Deceased. Yeah, the walking deceased. Right. Do, do you like The Walking Dead, Steve? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't impressed with the final episode. But no, yeah, I don't. Like that, it, yeah. I haven't watched up that yet, but yeah. I, okay. No, I wasn't overly impressed with it. But no, don't give it I a Steve. That is one of your. That's one of your homeworks. Walking deceased. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, as we were watching some beavers, uh, just going back onto that Lana spent about 20 minutes saying he's taking the piss now is, is, <laughs> he's taking the piss he's, he's, he's making no, us watch this he's taking the piss out of us now I wasn't yeah. I love that I've watched it at least three times now I think I've watched it twice you know because I think I watched it on my own and then I watched it with the wife as well I, was, I love I was it like, oh, you've got to watch this it's so bad you've got to watch it I'm so sorry Tori I'm so sorry what happened was I was going to um, click on the on the band you thing, and and it and the chat moved just as I clicked, and it went on to you. I'm really sorry, Tori. Uh, Zombievers was shit like I expected. <laughs> I can't believe it. Just can't please. Um, it. Right, so that's what you've got to try and dig out. Right. The walking okay. disease. And I've not even watched it yet, so I'm looking forward to watching that. This came as a surprise to me, Chris. I remember I was talking when we were talking last week. Didn't you say that you hadn't seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Uh, no, I have seen it. I don't like it. Ah, uh, well, I thought you said you hadn't seen it. Yeah, I, it's. I've, I probably had it on, and then I never finished it. It's just not my cup of tea. Mm. Too much quality. Uh, Tori says she's sending the cat back. <laughs> no. no. Uh, oh, what's this? First, would that be your first CCC return? Is it, Chris? Could be. Yeah, could be. Oh, he's you never do man. that. Did you ever watch the original Wicker Man, Chris? Uh, no, someone mentioned that before. Oh, Steve mentioned it. I watched. I've watched the original, no. and then I watched oh. the remake. Yeah, I have as well. But I weren't sure if you'd seen it because that's that's a trippy movie, that one. Hmm. I don't this know. Is, so I while think this is on... Tori's new fella. Hello? Tori's mystery man. 
He does say hi, Scott, is the next message. Hey, yeah. up. So it's not that much of a mystery. Now we know his first um. name. Hey, speaking of which, where's Risa, Where's where's Pete the reseller kid? I want to know what 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 he actually got up watching this week after our recommendations last week. Oh yeah, yeah. We gave him loads of films to watch, didn't we? Mm. Were the like, I can't remember were the age appropriate like, like Power Rangers and Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched the original Power Rangers recently? <laughs> no one. It's not aged well at all, that film. No. So, I had a Rick proper Auckland, out. original Wicker Man. Go on. Hey, Steve, I had, a, I had a pop around town the other day. Mm. I went to one of the charity shops and picked up this. Right. And I realised that my top ten last week was absolutely shocking because there's Fucking so many movies on that. There's so many movies in here. I've gone, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. I mean, Fargo. Mm. Fargo is an amazing movie. That's really funny. That is. Yeah, but hey, Lana, Lana's, try, Lana's, Lana's trying to call me out here for watching Wreck It Ralph when I went to work. When she went to work, yeah, I did, and then I watched the second one straight after. Nothing wrong with that. What's, I like Wreck It Ralph. Scott's Scott, what's your all time favourite movie? Oh, Scott's getting questions off Tori now. <laughs> We're all interested to know. Why don't you just text him and ask him, Tori? <laughs> she's probably sat next to him. Probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah YouTube, YouTube and chill. What's your all time what? fab movie? Fab movie. She's down with kids, isn't she? New Fargo season started. I've not watched the seasons yet, to be honest with you. I've not started them. Um, any any Quentin Tarantino movies? Can you rank them? Can I? Yeah. Um, Jackie Brown, number one. Jackie Brown, number one? Yeah. Reservoir oh, right. Dogs, number two. Uh, Fictions, three. Um it's not one of his but he had a lot to do with it, it was the Desperado with Anton uh, Antonio Banderas yeah um, uh, then Django Unchained yeah yeah I, 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 I think Jackie Brown's probably That's the better good. story what about uh, Inglorious uh, Rafferts yeah I, I liked it um I'm a big World War II type film buff, so for him to put a different spin on it completely, I think he could have done away with killing everyone in the cinema. Yeah, the that's end, a decent film. What about the the Hateful Eight? I haven't seen it. Sorry, you haven't seen the Hateful Eight? No, no, oh. I haven't seen it. I love that film. Need to watch that. Well, what about you? What's your order? Um, I think. Everyone's going to say Pulp Fiction first, but I think I, I think I would prefer like Django Unchained, mm. um, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, um, Inglorious Bastards, and The Hateful Eight. I think that would be my. I, you've got Dust Till Dawn as well, aren't you? Yeah, and to me, the Kill Bills are down at the bottom. They're, yeah, they're, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. at the time, I, I liked them. I enjoyed I liked, that one. I like the story. I like each sort of character, but mm -hmm. longevity wise, because it, it's a two movie thing, I don't think I'd be able to sort of sit through it again and again. Mm -hmm. With the other ones being like a single movie, I can just sit down and enjoy that movie and it's done with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'd have to watch one one after the other with the, with them. And uh, what's the other one as well? Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. I, I quite enjoyed that. Have you seen that yet? No. Oh, that's that. That is a good one. That sort of a spin on the on the Hollywood scene. Like I say, there's 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 been a lot of movies in the last eighteen months that I just haven't been caught to see or, or wanted to see. I think oh, for us, Chris, it's all right. Yeah, his internet's <laughs> dropping out. Yeah, so the last eighteen months there hasn't been anything 
that's jumped out out that I've, I've, I've got to see. You know, I'm I'm quite happy waiting until it comes on, mm. like Netflix or something like that, and I pick it up there. What's that? Yeah, that's what's better. Uh, oh, thanks, John. Watch, she's going to watch it back later. Yeah. No, he's oh, back. Is, there, is there anything? Is there anything from the chat that you want us to discuss for next week? Because Chris, Chris, Chris is film. Oh, he's back. Chris's Chris's oh, film yeah. doesn't Excellent. sort of entice me either. My was my stream going really bad then because I could like barely hear anything you guys were saying. I think you were answering questions about forty seconds after we've yeah. moved on to something else. Um, I think you need a better internet connection. Just till dawn once upon a time. So, yeah. I don't know why it's playing up today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Queenie. So it's just it's just things that was I was looking at it and thinking, you know what, my top ten is yes, the 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 ones that I picked are, are still back, but there was so many that I could have I could have put in there. I mean, if you're talking sort of even growing up movies, you know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that sort of thing. I love them movies and and the things that were I can watch over and over again. Yeah. What's the movie just plays a rogue pilot with Christian Strater? It's uh, Arrow. Uh, broken Arrow. Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow, yeah. That yeah, was a late nineties as well, wasn't it? Yeah, Broken Arrow was. Um, yeah. There was there was a couple of movies that came out then. Uh, Chain Reaction with um, Chris, uh, what's he called? Keanu Reeves in. That was another yeah. one. Well, Broken, all... Broken Arrow was after Face Off, wasn't it? Was it? I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure Broken Arrow was after Face Off. Oh. Let me look. I'll have a look. Because, you see, he had to work films, four, didn't he? Where he had bad part, uh, bad guy parts, uh, like the Punisher movie. Broken Arrow. Sorry, Broken Arrow was ninety six. Yeah. Ah, Face Off was ninety seven. Oh, okay. So roughly the same time because he had the, he had the, a stint, didn't he, of playing bad guys like uh, Yeah, I agree with Battlefield you. Earth, where he was the alien and. Uh, yeah, that, flop. Flop. Uh, that battlefield earth that flopped massively, didn't it? Yeah, it was, was that Adam? Oh, was terrible. That Adam What's that? It was the fella from Bill and Ted in it, wasn't it? Wasn't it Adam? Was it Adam Winter or what? Battlefield earth, yeah, it was, it was what the have, then? this is doing yeah, battle, battlefield earth. I dreamt of Volta as the alien, yes. Yeah, uh, two thousand. That was. I, I think that was like the worst, one of the worst movies voted or something or other. That was. Mm -hmm. it, it was. It was the other actor. Was it? I don't, it was, was it one of the Bill and Ted's? Wasn't it? Was it Adam? Uh, you got Barry Pepper, Forrest Whitaker, Kim Coates, Richard Tyson, and. Somebody else, but no, I don't know. Yeah. Barry Pepper, what's that? Who's that? But yeah, he didn't. It didn't. It, I mean, the budget itself. He it says on here the budget was seventy-three million, yeah. and it made box office of twenty-nine. Well, it was supposed to be the first one of a series, wasn't it? But yeah, it, it, it killed the series. That was good. That was a good movie. Pelham one, uh, taking Pelham one, two, three, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Um... Central Washington, wasn't it? Yes, I want to say yes. Because he was the train driver. Well, no, he was the. God, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not awake tonight. Uh, taking Pelham one, two, three. Just in case you're wondering, I'm struggling to hear um, you guys. It's not your fault. I think my stream is just breaking up. Yeah, it was Denzel Washington and John Travolta. Yeah, yeah you're right. Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio uh, are at their best in Once Upon a Time, masterclass of acting. <laughs> definitely good. Um, definitely. I'm, 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 uh, Brad Pitt, I think, was done better. Brad Pitt, did, did anyone see Z's latest shop update? No. Yeah, 
what was with the Brad Pitt flick ups? Oh, for, uh, he, he was doing like a Fight Club type thing where he, do you know where he inserts like snippets and he, he puts the cock up on the cinema and stuff. No, I've not seen that. No, uh, what, I don't what, remember what, that. Bit. What, what's his latest chop video? And it, it, he's got like Brad Pitt pop up what's sort the, of like what, cut in the, the middle of him, and it was I couldn't figure it out. What's in the box reference? That's seven, isn't it? Yeah. What's in the, I'm not sure what that what that's about, Michelle, to be fair. Yes, the original. What is, original Pelham 1, 2, 3. That, was that like 70s? Oh, I forget who's in I that. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was definitely. The, the, taking Pelham 1, 2, 3 was definitely a remake. Mm -hmm. There's been a few good Denzel Washington films. Um, I was the one I like was Man on Fire, where yeah. was the, the, the bodyguard of Mexico. Uh, yeah, that's a fucking film. The other one is Q. Is it Q? The one where he's, um, he's, his son's dying in hospital. Yeah. And then there's a training day as well. Training day is superb with Ethan Hunt. That's good. I can't have a good shot. That. Yeah, Ethan, yeah, Ethan Hawke, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it was only a, it weren't a very long movie though. That training day, uh, it didn't have to be though, did it? It was short no, yeah. to the point, and and it was meant to be overnight, wasn't it? It was a, it was a, a, a day sort of event. Ah, Michelle, that makes sense now. Yeah. So, what films are we going to suggest to uh, watch other than uh, the Walking Deceased? <laughs> Walking deceased. Oh my gosh. Well, Johnny, Johnny Forty Coach there is talking June. I might have to watch the that again because the new one's out soon, isn't it? Yeah. That's another big budget though, that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I did try and watch the children of June, of June. you know, the, the mini series with um what's his face? I played Xavier McIntyre. Yeah. But I, 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 I got about 20 minutes into that and I had to turn that off. It's awful. Uh, I don't know, Chris. Is that your recommendation? Is that seriously what you're going with, the walking DC? Well, I'm, I'm not saying I'm recommending it because I've never seen it, but I'm just saying it'll be interesting for us to watch it. Right, OK. What about some of those um, suggestions we had early doors? Yeah, there cool. was uh, There was Wraith. I bought a vampire motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. Humanoids of the Deep. Uh, Mandy, Miracle, and Men of Honor. That question. Have you guys seen Nerve? No. I think that's Nerve. on Netflix. Yeah, Nerve. I think that's on Netflix. However, you, you, if you want to talk about watching things, we're going to do a chat about. Um, uh, blah, 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 Netflix, then should we not be picking things off Netflix? What, ready what for next week? week? Yeah. Oh, that's what probably a good idea. If we're going to talk about stuff on Netflix, then it would make sense that we're watching a few things on Netflix. That can be, that doesn't have to be the same thing though, then, does it? Because we can we can all just watch things on Netflix and then just review them. Okay, if yeah. Mix them on Netflix. Well, we can, we can do it through the Facebook group. Yeah, Find okay. Put it on the Facebook group and see if see if we watch it together or something. Yeah, we'll do that. Good. We'll, we'll still watch story. the deceased. What's your favourite actor actress? You know <laughs> who I who I really like as an actress, um, Zoe Deschanel. So who? You don't know Zoe Deschanel? Well, probably not by name. No. You'll know her. She was in Yes Man. Is yeah. she the one from? She's in the. Uh, she was in Elf. Yeah. Um, she had. A, uh, is it um, New Girl the series? I think Chris is pulling an Andrew here. He's googling this. We just can't see it in his glasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? I'm a, I'm a fan. Yeah, what, what film such and such it? Do you know what? For a second there, I thought, I'll have a look at the box and it'll probably tell me who she is. And it's Elf's got no 
there's she's not on there at all. It's it's the girl that he falls for. I can't remember. I, I, oh, I the, blonde girl. the blonde girl. Well, she has blonde or brown sometimes, but uh, yeah. she was the blonde girl. girl with Alfred. Alfred. Yes, oh. Michelle's put a good one. Uh, old guard. Have you guys seen old guard? What's that one? Uh, is it Charlie Charlie Theron? Something something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've not seen, seen that. Yet. Never got yeah. around to seeing it. I, I'm the same with Margot Robbie there, Queenie. I love Margot Robbie movies. Apparently The Walking Deceased is on Amazon, if that helps anybody out. Right. Yeah, I'll watch it on there. TV show. Oh, Brilliant it. from Hitchhiker's Guide as well. I don't know. So it sounds like Chris. I've seen quite a few things with her in, but I just never really realised. She's very, she's very well known. I, I really yeah. like her. Right, I'm going to have to find out now who she is. Because it's going to bug me. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I'd watched her in, to be fair. Elf and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, but there's always that one or two where you're like, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Michelle, that's right. That's one of the best ones. 500 Days of Summer, that's a good film. I haven't got around to watching that yet. It's it's a nice film, that. Yeah, I've got it. I just haven't watched it. <sighs> Somewhere. Oliver Ian's got about 5,000 films he hasn't watched yet that he hasn't got around to watching. Yeah, that's that's the problem. It's like, oh, have you seen them all? I'm like, no, no, I haven't. No, I really haven't. <laughs> No, now he's got two that he's got that he wish he hadn't watched. <laughs> no, that, that one I enjoyed. That one I would watch again. But yeah. there's a lot of them. Like, uh, is it one, two, three, four? And yeah, it's the whole series of them, like the adulthoods and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I've got mm -hmm. adulthood, kidhood, and what was the other one? Brotherhood, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got yeah. them. But I like them sort of movies. I like that this is England and yeah. You know, but I mean, I can watch them. It doesn't matter what mood. I mean, I'll watch them. Um, high School Musical. <laughs> yeah, High School Musical, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think what 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 can we recommend. What, what, Did I you... watched Kindergarten Cop on Netflix. Oh, God. I watched that this week. I watched Crocodile Dundee. Brought out all the classics. Yeah, well, we, we, we've sort of gone back to watching films from that era because they were actually quite good. They were, definitely. The 80s and 90s were, were great for films. Yeah. That's what you were talking about earlier, wasn't it, Chris? Non-stop. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys yeah. team Moon? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy, I really enjoyed that movie. That was something I, I sort of come across about six months ago. I tell, I, I tell you what, have you seen that new Adam Sandler one, that Hubby Halloween or Hubie Halloween or whatever it's called on Netflix? I've seen it pop up. I've not watched it, though. Now, I got, Lance and I got about 10 <laughs> minutes, 15 minutes in last night before we turned it off. You know, it, it's like a load of actors got together. It, it's about this... Uh, He's a bit of a strange character, but he loves Halloween. And then when he gets talking, his mo his, his great nan or something got burned at stake of being a witch or hung for being a witch. And he's got this fascination with Halloween. And then a, a psychopath escapes from uh, a mental institution and ends up living in the in the neighbourhood. But then, but it's your typical. It's like Adam Sandler's going back to the the Water Boy. Right. Type, of, type of film where all his mates play like small cameos. Like Ben, uh, ben Stiller bring, brings back the um, card from uh, Happy Gilmore. You no, know, because he was like an attendant, wasn't he, in the in the nursing home? But he he's a, an attendant in the mental institution. Straight out. It's, that, it's yeah. that type of people bringing back old roles and stuff like that, and. Yeah. Has, do you reckon has Adam Sandler's been been given like a deal with Netflix to make like five or six films oh, yeah. or something? 
It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a production company, isn't it? That will have yeah. to do uh, Have you guys, uh, Tories put uh, straight out of Compton as to be top five? Mm -hmm. That's a good film. Uh, have you guys seen Dead Man's Shoes? No. That's amazing. That's a is good that, one. Is that worth that watching, is it? Yeah, Dead Man's Shoes. Yeah. No. Okay, well, I'll write, I'll write this one down because the other one's got Chris Chris Chris. And This is actually worth watching. Do you guys remember that? This is one of my favourites from back in the day. The Net. The Net, yeah. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. That's the Net. Bullock. Uh, when, when, when Sandra Bullock was worth watching. Yeah. Sandra Bullock back in the day. That was like just after speed, I think, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, Queenie says Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems is brilliant. You see, I stopped watching that, Queenie. I I kind of turned it off after about half an hour. I couldn't get into it. <laughs> Although I didn't mind the one with Jennifer Aniston, the film, the kind of Cluedo type mm. film. Oh, that was okay. What's that? Um, Queen was Uncut Gems was brilliant, but I didn't really, oh, yeah. I didn't get it. No, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, to be honest with you. I watched the trailer and I, I went 100% on it. No. The thing is, is that every time Adam Sandler brings out a movie now, it's like this is the best one he's ever made. And every time it's the same thing. Yeah. He's just not, I'm just not sure. If it's got he's just releasing play. some very, very average films. Well, yeah, like really good. middle of the road, nothing amazing. Just he's like he's got a contract to make these films, and you know, there's nothing really like setting him on fire. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, Doug, but he's he sort of he was was it the replacement for Jim Carrey type of actor, wasn't he? Yeah, just went with the, yeah, you know, yeah. with his Lee Madison's his Happy Gilmore's and. And stuff like that, big daddy. It was all that type of same comedic. Uh, yeah. The water boy. He was that same type of comedic actor, though, wasn't he? And, yeah, just that sort of silly silliness yeah. with yeah. Silly faces and voices and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I liked him in um, in like Fifty First oh. Dates and stuff like that. It was good in that. Um. And a few others. What was the one that he, he's done with um where they, they were all in it with they were going away for the weekend or whatever? It's not was it grown ups or oh grown ups one grown -ups. and two. Yeah, grown ups one and two. It was okay. Yeah, I mean that that was an average film, but it, the thing it's is watch, it's watchable, isn't it? It's sort of you know, you can you can sit and watch it while you're what, having well, your tea, and you know, the movie wasn't solely reliable on him. No, yeah, well, I, tell, I, I tell you the one that we watched this week that's another one we've not put on the list, Lana. She's not very good at remembering. Was the do over, and that yeah. was him in uh David Spade, yeah, where he pretends to be the FBI agent and then uh, he faked the death and move on from there. So that that's quite good, um, and it's not your typical Adam Sandler type of comedy film. But this mm. QB Halloween, I wouldn't recommend it. If, if you were no. looking for something to watch on Netflix, then avoid that one. Yeah, did I'll, I'll about, avoid that. Uh, Chris, did we talk about The Keeper last, last week? Oh, one, uh, not on one. here, but, but we, we, we text about it, I think. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. That was I really enjoyed. I watched that recently. I really enjoyed that. Uh, it's that, about, that is, that's a great film. That is uh, such uh, a good yeah, film. You've seen it a couple of times, didn't you? Yeah, I've seen I've seen it two or three times. It's really great. Yeah, I enjoyed that, and that was a really good one. But that's like um, Jimmy Grimble as well, though, isn't it? That was another yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not, Jimmy Grimble is good. Not that I'm biased or out. I mean, I watched that not long back. That was a good film, the United one. But I like that. I haven't seen that. I like Tim in it. He's good. No, I'm not what saying the, the, uh, the Munich crash. Is it Munich crash? Yeah. Yeah. The, the Munich air disaster. The Munich air disaster. Thank you. Yeah, that's 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 the one. But I enjoyed that one. That was a good film. Right. Should we call it a day? Yeah, Candy. Was we'll just see if there's anything else in chat before we. Um, uh, we'd rather. Oh, well, no, it's like dropped in just as we call it a day. 
<laughs> so yeah, for, those of, for those out. of you that are in the chat that haven't seen the Facebook page, um, because if we're doing a Netflix one next week, if you go in and put your recommendations for Netflix in there, some awesome. Oh, so, yeah, good, good idea, Steve. Yeah. Drop um, can... drop uh, any comments, links, trailers in the uh, in the Facebook group so we can all see what your favourite stuff is on Netflix. Are we going to try and have a look at Netflix exclusives? Or do you want to just... Be, it could be anything. It could be anything on Netflix, just I think. Anything. Yeah, just anything, anything that's available on Netflix. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll just chat about what the best stuff is on next on Netflix next week. That's sponsored. So by even like Netflix. series as well as movies. Yeah. Sorry, I just I'm looking at I'm just looking at things we could have watched. But to be fair, I'd say if we do, if we're going to do a Netflix one, then that that's probably the best idea is to do things directly from that. Yeah. I yeah, think, just I pick something. I Don't forget that. Though. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's some good movies just like that, Chris. Yeah. On yeah. Netflix. I, I, I don't you, think it's all A grade stuff. If you if you get past all the new releases and stuff like that, there's some cracking stuff on Netflix. So if, yeah. if you dig deep enough, you 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 find some really good hidden gems. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Bang, bang a couple of suggestions in the Facebook group for us and give us some ideas of what to watch and whatever. So we're Bronx versus Bronx for movie. next week. It's a, funny movie. It's, a new movie. it's a new one on Netflix, apparently. That'd be a good one, Queenie. We'll try that. Bronx mm. versus Zombies. God's sake. <laughs> right. Right. Let's go. Let's call it a day, guys. We're nearly at two hours. Everyone. No, so thank hey, you two uh, again for coming on. Oh, no problem. Uh, right. Thank you for having us. Um, yeah, no, great. Thank you. And we'll do it next week, 6.30 Thursday. Um, and it's going to be all about Netflix. So, yeah. It should be good. And, of course, don't forget that. All right. Anybody, in, anyone in the chat who wants to dig that out, apparently it's on Amazon Prime. You can, you can pick it up on Prime. Oh, well, maybe that's another week, uh, Chris. I mean, it's Netflix this week. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, mate. No. <laughs> no right. You're still going to do it. You're still going to do it. <laughs> right. Okay. See you All right. Later. Thank you very much. Thanks for everyone in the chat. Thank you, guys. See you, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. -bye. Bye.